Hi, Tarot Tube. Um, yeah, so here I am. I'm kind of a mess because I'm just getting over a cold. Um, but I'm doing a VR to Tarot Tats and Tea because she just posted a video about making a cup of tea, and I'm so entertained by it, and I'm so in the mood for this. So, um, first, I'm going to, I use an electric kettle, and it's very cool because I can choose, um, you know, like which temperature I want to use. Fancy modern Americans. So let me see. I'm doing an herb tea, so I'm going to use 175, which is a green tea on here, but I figure that's probably good for an herb tea. And why do I look like this? Okay, I just came back from getting acupuncture, so I'm finally far enough past my cold that I can go get some care. So I got my acupuncture, there's the water boiling. Um, but then, you know, you always want to keep it warm. So I have this very cool um, thing. You put it in the microwave and warm it up. It's flax seeds. And then I do this to keep myself warm over my fancy sweater. That's why I'm looking a little bit raggedy. Okay, so now my water is finished boiling, but it'll keep warm um, while I'm talking you through this. So the tea I'm using today is this one, uh, Beloved Veil Tea to assist in divination and ancestor work. And it is from, I got a box, a Ritual Society box, and it came from that one. And I'm very excited to try this tea. It's got um, lemon balm. Let's see if I can get this straight. There we go. It's got lemon balm, mugwort, chrysanthemum, cinnamon, allspice, and star anise. So they're suggesting one tablespoon for eight ounces of water. Okay. In my cabinet my tea cabinet doesn't everybody have a tea cabinet i am going to use this fun mug that my daughter gave me um, for christmas last year it's got morning questions and inside it says inside we're all the same she's a sweetheart my daughter okay i don't think she watches my channel but she's still a sweetheart okay now i need a strainer because I don't like the bits and bobs, as she says on Tarot Tats and Tea. I don't like the bits and bobs. Now, there's a teaspoon. So I'm going to go with a this. And I have to tell you that this quite a tin. Eesh. I know I look way too young to have arthritis, but I do. So all those years of playing the piano did come with a price. Happily paid. Okay, here's what it looks like inside. Let's see if you can. I'm afraid to tip it too far. It's just beautiful, right? And it smells. Mmm, the anise smells so good. And I do love a good anise cookie, so maybe this will give me the satisfaction of an anise cookie without actually eating a cookie. Okay, there we go. So I put it in the strainer. I know a lot of people don't actually make loose teas, but this community probably y'all do but I had a guest over and she had never seen anybody make loose tea before she was fascinated I don't know if she's gonna go home and do it or not but here we go all right then you just pour it over and it says I'll just take a look I don't think that they gave me a timer a uh, suggested time now when you make it this way um, and you want to keep it warm you want to put something over it a saucer or a um, you know, or something. So I have got <laughs> this little cutie. It came with a little thing. No, do I have the? Oh, here it is. This is really turning into a conversations in the kitchen, right? It came with this. Is that cute? <laughs> okay, I can't have the pet because I've got my asthma and my allergies. So I sound lovely today, don't I? So I can use this to put it over my mug to keep it warm, right? And then I would tell um, Google or Siri, because I'm all about the technology. So I'm going to let this brew for about five minutes. I don't know if the um, video will last that long. Hey, Google, set a timer for five minutes. Okay, five minutes. Starting now. Yeah. So that's how we do it. I blend old school loose leaf teas with all the modern tricks. I use my electric tea kettle and I let Google time it and everything. So let's 
so now we gotta put everything back together. Oh, I've got all the teas are out because this is this is my breakfast tea. I love this company, T2. Hey, T2, if you see this video, I'd be happy to sponsor you. Seriously. I mean, we've got a relationship already. Shouldn't it be like a two-way kind of a thing? Or is this a codependent relationship? It's up to you, T2. All right, here we go. What else do I like? I like Tazo teas. And... I don't really appreciate the packaging on this, but this Lipton Stress Therapy, which is a combination that I would not have come up with, cinnamon, chamomile, and lavender. I don't know if I would have come up with that, um, but I like it. It's good. And the palette on the box, I mean, come on, how gorgeous is that? All right, I'm really rambling now. So um, I don't think I'm gonna make you sit here and watch to see how this comes out delicious yeah you don't have to watch the whole thing but there I'm just had to respond to you at tarot tats and tea from across the pond I'm watching you teach me your dark ways good luck with the writing project bye